Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video that was done in Photoshop, and they did something similar to this. Maybe Photoshop can maybe actually do it a little bit better. But it, this would be pretty cool print on a T-shirt. And there's a couple other things you could do with it too. We could power clip that spiral into that. So we're gonna just make a spiral. Your spiral tool is underneath your polygon tool. Just hit spiral. I've got it set on 53. I'm gonna hold down the control button to get a symmetrical spiral. And then I'm gonna change it to black. And then I'm going to change the thickness of it to, let's go a little bit more, let's go two. And here's kind of the key to this. And we could make that a little bit thicker, but go to effects and blur and Gussie and blur just a little bit. You know, just set your radius on a little bit. You don't want too much because it'll blur it all together. So let's do it about there, maybe a little bit more. And for those of you that watch enough of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of epilogue. So let's, uh, let's hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's move this out of the way. Let's make this text a different text. It'll be a little thicker. Let's go with impact. Make it a little bit bigger and hit P. And then let's set our spiral in the center of the page. Now let's take our text. Let's make our text yellow. I hit the left key, left arrow or left mouse key. Then let's go to object order backup page. What that does, it it's letting the yellow show through the, the white because the white's not there, but it's the blur has kind of blurred it out, uh, making it look pretty cool. Now we could do the same thing with a power clip. Let's just take our text, let's left click, right click, and then grab our spiral and go to object, power clip, place inside frame, and you get something's going on. Let me let me back up here. Let me move it. Something must be on my screen that I can't see. Let's uh, do that again. Object, power clip, place inside frame. And there you get a pretty neat fuzzy line graphic. Now what you can also do is Select it all and you can right click no outline. And for some reason, there we, there we go. My old Corel, my old laptop's just having trouble keeping up. But that would be a pretty good, I don't think, I don't know about lasering, but printing that. And then of course you can make it any, you know, color you wanted to. And um, let's see if we can't make the, there we go. Yeah, my laptop's just having trouble keeping up. So anyway, that's a pretty cool thing that you could maybe print and, and look pretty good. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.